Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode 15 of the Bolton Save. Right, you, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. We beat Newcastle 1 0 away. Tommy Smith, our sent new centre back from Ipswich, with the only goal of the game. Absolutely delighted. If you look at the stats, they had twice as many shots, but they were having a lot of long shots. They had seven on target, we had five. We fouled a lot. That's nice. Uh, 45% possession. Clear cut chances, I think we had three each. So. I was relatively happy with how we played. Um, I did change tactics quite drastically, actually. Before. What the fuck has happened to my tactic thing? Okay. That's weird. Okay. It seems fine. Um, <laughs> so, basically, what I decided to do was have a look at the tactic before we went into the Newcastle game. And I was like, okay, we just, I don't think, we're just not good enough to play with this wi attacking wing back formation. Um, it was just too many gaps. You saw the amount of space they had down the left and right hand side. So we basically switched it back to something much more basic, much more sort of normal, as you'd expect, with just supporting fullbacks, um, wingers playing as wingers on their more sort of natural sides, um, advance forward and clough. He did actually play false nine in the last game by, uh, against Newcastle, but wasn't getting involved enough. So I've actually made him attacking forward. So very few instructions. We're still playing counter-attacking football. <clears throat> um, hit early crosses, pass into space. Basically a little bit higher tempo. So we sit slightly deeper. So we're in, they're coming forward. We're trying to stop them getting any decent chances, and we then try and break quickly. That is the entire goal now of this. I don't want to go sort of long, longer ball. Um, that wouldn't be good but I basically wanted to do that and that it worked really well against Newcastle the few chances that we did had were were absolutely superb so today we're playing Swindon now although I should probably go attacking or controlling at least uh, uh, against I don't know I keep clicking this button um, against Swindon I actually not going to do that because I want them, the team to get used to this formation um, get used to this way of playing. Tyler Roberts is in need of a rest, which is unfortunate, but Adelaide can come back in. We haven't got any new players. There is one possible player that's coming in. Uh, Josh Feller can start in this game. Um, I really don't care about the Cups. We'll give David Wheater a rest. Um, as for the others... <laughs> Trotter can come out. Jay Spearing's been playing well, so we'll keep him in. Um, I would, yeah, I'm going to play Sam Zadar up front. I'm not too, but I want to give him some game time, and I really can't afford to do that much in the Premiership. Our youngster, he's a decent young player. He's only 17 years old, so I want to give him some game time, but don't want to <laughs> play him in the Premiership unless I have to. So we're going to stick with the same formation, this counter-attacking formation, which obviously kept. Swindon are obviously going to be playing count, probably a counter-attacking sort of formation too. Interesting formation, to say the least. But, um, yeah, like I said, I just want to get the team used to how this works, how this plays out. Right, win this match. Sam Zadar's going to get the goal. Come on, boys. Nice back-to-back -back wins. But three points against Newcastle is just huge absolutely huge it just means we can win games which is good after the Watford one I was a little bit <laughs> scared that we could pull an Aston Villa sorry Aston Villa fans but you know what I mean um, so very happy with that so I don't care about the cup so go for it so they're having all the shots brilliant 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 it's fine it's all good don't care Because when when you're a small like lower league team, you know cups are more important. That's a good ball. <sighs> Jonathan Hubby scores brilliant. Um, when they're, they're more important because the money is so huge. If you get a good draw against a Man United or something, you can make a lot of money. But we're in the Premiership now, so the TV revenue is far beyond what I'd get anyway. So I'm fine with not caring about the cup. Although I would like to play all right. <laughs> We've got um, one possible loan signing, um, another winger from Paris Saint-Germain. Hopefully on the way. He's a decent player, can play on both sides. Right, that was fucking awful. Derek Sende, you are not a very good defender. This has become clear. 
Um, okay, let's give some of the other players some time that haven't had much so far. <clears throat> That'll do. Right, come on, boys. Right, let's just go attacking. See what this formation does. Exact same, no changes, but attacking football in a rainy day in Swindon. Okay, yeah, keep had that covered. Yeah, he's not worried. Right, another set piece. That's how we scored our last goal. Oh well, our only goal. <laughs> Right, Prattley, go on, make a run. Josh Vella, Prattley, ball through to Sam Zadars. He's not going to get there. Go on, cause him trouble though, cause him trouble. Spearing with a header. He's a very good, Jay Spearing's a very good defensive midfielder, but the trouble, <laughs> he, that's offside, surely? He lacks, what he lacks in his game is height. So the trouble is because he's central and a defensive midfielder, those long goal kicks and stuff and long punts upfield, he's going to be the one challenging for. So I think definitely I would like a larger <laughs> defensive midfielder. Wow, we have played awful. It's okay, I don't care. Don't care. Still care a little bit. Just no, no, I don't care. It's cup. Mm -mm -mm. Come on. Oh, you didn't need to make that save, did you, Romero? It's five yards wide of the goal, man. All right, I'm going to make a video soon about, and I need your help, what I would like to see in the next Football Manager game. What improvements, what new features you'd like to see. So if you have any you know, bugbears or if you have any suggestions of what... Um, you would like to see in the new football manager. I will include them in a video that I make in the next couple of weeks. Right, Sam said I was having a shocker. All right, good Tyler Roberts. Ten minutes up front. Yeah. So if you've got any suggestions, anything you want changed, any new ideas, any you know, even something out a bit out more out of the box, that's cool. Go for it. I remember. I think it was like FIFA Manager or something that. And it, I know it's a little thing, and it will never be. In, oh, fucking hell, Roberts has got an injury. It will never be included in the this version. But I used to like it. Was when because the money you earned as a manager, you could actually spend on buying cars and houses and shit, which I quite like. Just a little simple thing. They'll never include that because that's silly. That's frivolous. Right, we've been beaten. Um, I'm not going to get mad. Um, yeah, you should have won that. We don't care. Robbins is out for 11 days. The goal of Sam is oh, Come on. Romero got... <laughs> Romero got bad in the match as well. That's a slight worry. But, you know, Premiership team now. We've got our eyes on bigger prizes, yeah? We've got Norwich, who are definitely beatable. Um, seven players called up for... So Wales... Oh, Tyler Robbins is straight into the senior squad. Wow. Brilliant. Tommy Smith, New Zealand. Zach Clough from England, the 21s. Jeff Thomas, Randy Adelaide. Derek Sam, David. Darren Prattley, yeah. Nothing too amazing apart from Roberts getting the Welsh call up. Right, this is an, a big game. <clears throat> a very big game. Oh, man, he's rejected it. Stephen Zubar was the guy's name. Just a pacey winger. Little bastard doesn't want to play for us. We we are struggling to just. We are struggling to get anyone that's in, like bothered about coming to Bolton. <laughs> I'm hoping that. Um, January transfer window, if we're sort of somewhat safe or like in a better position, that they might consider it. I thought Zubar would come though. Jesus, he's only worth like one point five million. That says it all, doesn't it? You know, 1.5 million players like, no, no, mate, sorry. You're too shit. Um, like, Tyler Roberts is fine. I'm going to keep it as is, though. Don't want to rush him into it. Um, Pratters can... Terrell can play there, can't he? Is he more of a... 
It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Okay. <coughs> we'll give Trotter. I know you can play box to box. Well, Wheat has definitely come back in because the Sunday was fucking awful. Uh, Moxie. I don't have much choice at left back. It's quite a weak area. I've got Twadzik who's there, who's not great. But Josh Vela and Saki are battling out for that right back spot. Right. Let us beat Norwich. <coughs> I'm, a, I'm a slightly worried after the last game. That was. I didn't make that many changes. Wow. Okay. So they've got Rondon up front on his own. Like way, way, way on his own. Nay Smith and Brady. I do like Brady. I like to sign him, but he's going to be way out of my price. Yeah, £10 million. Pounds. Yes. Right, boys. One for the fans. Yeah, go on then. Assistant. I probably should look at getting a new assistant manager, actually. I'm not sure if he's that good. All right, come on, boys. I'll take a draw. I honestly would take a draw at this point. Get four points in the bag from three games. Start the season. Very happy with that. It's going to be a cagey, a cagey affair, it looks like. Yeah, I think we were just... just couldn't give a shit about that cup game. It seems none of the players could give a flying fuck. Right, Brady with a free kick. I've got the training set as defending set pieces because we were awful in that first game of the season. So we're trying to work on that a bit more. Teddy's off on walkabouts. Look at him go. <laughs> Nay Smith. Don't want that blue nose scum scoring against us. Brady. Kept it in. Oh, that looks like a goal. No, no. Moxie clears it away. Get in there. Good clearance, boys. It's better. We're doing all right. We're losing possession slightly, but it's not really a possession tactic at all. It's more of a speedy counter-attacking. So they can have it a bit more. That's fine. I'm going to say um, keep it up. There you go. <clears throat> and this is this tactic is not built to score a crap ton of goals or anything. This is just to try and sneak the odd one niller. Really is. But we're playing all right. I'm tempted to go a little bit more attacking. Davies, go on. Go on, Saki. Go on, Saki. Run it. Back to Davies. Bit of space. Good ball in. Basson heads it away. Trotter's there though. Plays it out to Rennie Adelaide. Spearing. Oh, might need to get Spearing off. Yellow carded Spearing is not a pretty sight. That's a great ball out to Saki on the right hand side. First time ball in. Clough. He's not a target man. Stop the hitting those big balls into him. That's what she said. Saki again. Whip the crosses. That's better. Yes! Wellington Silver off the mark for the season. He's parading in front of the Norwich fans. Ah, la, la, la. Well, I do need to take off Spearing, though. Because that's an accident waiting to happen. Saki plays it out to Adelaide. Bit of space. This is a lovely ball in, though. That is dangerous ball in. Back post. Wellington Silver. And it's 1-0. Wellington Silver, it's a deep free kick, but that's a lovely ball in. Wheaters there. Oh, is it the crossbar? Oh, two goals in one game. That would like Christmas. No, Adelaide is knackered. He's playing well, but he's getting a bit knackered. Let's bring the youngster on. I'm not expecting too much from the youngster. He's 17 years old. I'm not expecting like a Gareth Bale esque performance because he's Welsh. Um,. Right, if we defend this free kick, I'm then going to go defensive, I think. Oh, wow, Trotter's just given away a penalty. What What was that even for? He just seemed to chest it down and fall over. Oh, no. Come on, Romero. You got this, son. Yeah, big hands. Wavy, wavy, wavy. Yes! 
great save, sir. What a save. Paid for himself. If we win this game, three points. That's worth a lot of money. Right. We're going to drop the back four to a sort of standard defensive line. I'm not going to go like crazy deep. No, not take a breather. Play even safer. Um, try and retain the possession. Clear the balls to the flanks. Um, 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 a little bit more closing down. Waste time. There we go. Um, do you want to make a sub? Do you want to make a sub? Uh, Terrell can come on and you can be a deep line playmaker alongside Prattley. Help him out a bit. And then we'll go, obviously go for a cheeky calm concentrate when available. Calm, concentrate. 83 minutes gone, 85 minutes. Moxie with a free kick. Tell everyone to be defensive and we've got eight players in their box. Fantastic, great stuff lads. I wish that would override whatever instructions you've got. If you tell your team to play ultra defensive and you've got a free kick, that's a good save. And you've got a free kick or a corner. It's like, fucking waste time. Play it short. Do something. No, we're going to send eight men forward. All our centre-backs are going forward. Goalkeeper's rushing up. Like, fuck off. Okay, hanging on a bit. Good clearance. Cluffy doing his defensive duties. He's not had much of a chance up front, but... That's going to be this season in a nutshell, really. Right, Clough. This should be it. Terrell. Prattley. Davies. This is our first probably deserved win of the season. <laughs> Just keeping it. Lovely. Nice. Oh, it's not so nice, but that should be it. Yes! Come on! Unbelievable, Jeff. Fantastic win because Norwich are going to be down there as well, so that really puts them down. Yeah, Europa, Europa League, mate. That's what we're going for this season. Europa League. Interestingly, at the beginning of the season, I asked my board if I could have a affiliate club so I could send. I like having maybe a championship or a League One um, affiliate club that I can send some of our youngsters to because then they get experience being at the same club and stuff like that. And they said, no, they didn't trust me enough and I wasn't doing a good enough job. <laughs> and I thought, well, I've just got you promoted from fucking nowhere, mate. <laughs> Romero is proving his worth as a goalkeeper. Ben Amos is sitting on the bench going, oh, shit. Lovely stuff. Averaging 7.6, 7.4 in the league. That's unheard of. <sighs> right. And we shall... Oh, fucking hell, look at the next games. We <laughs> we shall leave it there. I'm going to come back for the Bournemouth game because that's where I'm from, you know, because I'm one of those horrible fans of Liverpool that doesn't live in Liverpool. Um, I absolutely live in Northern Ireland, so it's just even more confusing. Um, but my nephew's a massive fan of Bournemouth, so we'll come back for the Bournemouth game, I think, after... I think, let's say, loss, loss, loss... Draw, draw, <laughs> two points for the next six, I sort of envisage in our future. Something like that, I think. Right, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, that would be amazing. We're well on our way to 1,000, we're almost at 900 subscribers, so hurry up and subscribe. Be there, man, I'm going to do a big competition when I get to 1,000, as a big thank you. Um, like the video if you liked it, follow me on Twitter, it's in the description. I've only got like 100 Twitter followers, so... Come say hello because I'm lonely. I love you all. Bye-bye.